Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and we got the Xbox Smart Glass app right here on this tablet, and uh, we're going to take a little preview of it. Let's check it out. We can't show you exactly what happens on the Xbox right now, because we're not allowed. Uh, you'll be able to see more of this when it's finally released, but we can do a little preview of the Windows 8 Smart Glass app. Right here shows you what is on your console right now. I tap that. Get a little overview. Uh, let's go back and load something more interesting. Let's see, we have some featured stuff. There's videos, games, advertisement. Let's do some music. And I can do play on Xbox. And that's going to start playing on Xbox any second. But we see some artwork of the artist and we see the bio on the tablet here. You can scroll through the bio. And we have media controls here. So that's started playing on the Xbox, and you can see the artwork here has changed up. I can skip tracks. And you see it still plays when it's uh, not in the app. Now here's your controls. Let me just pause the music. If you swipe up from the bottom or from the top, hello, we get the controls. We got play next, and there's our controller here. Now this is uh, what we're going to be using with things like Internet Explorer when that's released. So if I press and slide, you see a little circle there. and that is moving in that direction. If I just do a tap, that's going to select something. B is going to be back. X and Y are there as well. Those are your normal Xbox controls. But the way this is designed, the A is in the middle, so while you're holding your tablet, it's pretty easy to tell anywhere in this area if I just tap in the middle of the tablet. You don't really have to be looking at the screen, but that's going to be a selection. And you don't have to tap and drag anywhere, really. You can just be in the middle over here, and that's going to go to the uh, right. That's going to go to the left. So it's really easy to use without having to look at the screen. And the B, the back, is both corners. So that's really easy to find as well, because your hand's going to be near the edge, and you can just hit the back button, like so. So that's a pretty nice design. Uh, hopefully there will be some multi-touch features. None of that really works yet. Uh, for zooming, we would hope. This is back to the home screen. And we can do searches. Uh, let's see. And you can type stuff. There is no voice search, which is disappointing. I really wish I could just say search for such and such and use the tablet's microphone because often the TV with Connect doesn't hear you when something is playing at the same time. So here's your search. Search results we have ordered by videos, games, and music. And then we can filter by movie or TV in the videos section. And so we can go through there. I can start games from here as well. You also saw a set beacon option. And when we're looking at games, we see uh, some uh, extra content here. The game is actually loading on the Xbox. You see it right here. But we can still uh, look at the achievements. Look at related games. Oh, well, we're in the overview. 
And there's some extras. I oh, can't tap any of those though. So you can browse all of this stuff while you or someone else is playing the game. Now what we might consider a bug is that there's no easy way to get back to the Xbox dashboard. I can do controls but there's no silver button thing to get me to the guide and back buttons don't get you out of the game. So getting back to the dashboard, you know, not really possible here. Now the Smart Class features are also integrated with the video and music apps. Now from the Xbox Videos app, here's my video library collection. I can play on Xbox right from here. And that's going to go back to the Smart Glass app. And my Xbox is going to load this movie. And you can hear it playing over there right now. And there's the controls. And we can use this to access... There's stop. And of course you can see a little bit more information about the movie. You have the same kind of integration in the Xbox Music app. Here's some music that I have downloaded to my tablet, and I can really easily play on Xbox. It goes to Smart Glass, and it's going to load some information about the artist, and it's going to try to play on the Xbox in a few seconds. There's your full screen mode. And we get a fun screensaver going on on the tablet. So that's a quick look at the Xbox Smart Glass app for Windows 8. It'll be coming to uh, Windows 8 when that's available uh, this fall, and it'll work nicely with the new Xbox 360 dashboard. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.